Having flown off into the night, Adreesen, Aluin, and you, Princess Asilme, headed to the Akashian Library in the hopes of finding a way to cure the life-draining poison that is slowly killing Aluin's father, King Elphare. But what you ended up finding was the shadowed figure that welcomed you home. Your twin brother, Kaesatran, asked for your help in bringing the Akasha clan back as the rightful rulers of the Elven realm. But the cost was the life-draining darkness that was destroying the realm. You refused him, believing there was another way. However, assassins attacked their way into the Akashian ancestral home and cut off your escape. With the strength of both Adreesen and Luing defeating the attackers, you three retreated back into the Akashian grotto and discovered the healing properties of the sacred water that flowed there. With hope once more renewed, you travel with the princes to the closest village in the Eelfast Kingdom, in hopes to obtain horses to return back to the Galen Castle. You know, since you used the water from the fountain in the grotto, both Aluin and I have not only been fully healed, but also fully energised. And besides that, you also gave us hope in saving the realm, and in saving Aluin's father. Oh, my dear, I'm sure Aluin will be back soon with the horses, and we must trust him to be able to do this. This village is so quiet. Damn, it's like it's like everyone's hiding. That's never a good sign. Better be quick about this. Go away. We don't want any more trouble. Trouble? I order you to open this door on the authority of the Eelfast Prince. My apologies, my prince. Tell me, what has this village scared into silence? Well, sire, being far from the Eelfast capital, safety has allowed for bandits to raid our town weekly. We're at a point that our supplies will barely survive the coming winter. When was the last time they raided? A few days ago. But we didn't have all the bandits demanded. We're not a strong village, and we don't know what they'll do when they return. It's so quiet. Odd for a village to be this dead at this time of day. Something's wrong. Even the animals have gone quiet. Yes, despite Aluin's request, I have to agree with you. We need to get him. Oh my goodness. Quickly, stay low. I don't know, but they've brought reinforcements. I think they are why it's so quiet here. What's this? I see no one here to greet us. Your heroes are here to protect you against this darkness and the supplies. How do we keep you safe if we don't get our supplies? Prince, we can't give them what they want. What are we to... Shh. Who is in charge of this village? The elder of the village, Elder Theron. Ah, there he is. 
What took you so long, old man? I was starting to worry. Please, forgive me. In my old age, I'm not able to move so well. I see. If that's the case, then maybe you should retire and let me take over. I think that has a nice ring to it, but we'll discuss that later. Right now, we need the supplies, yet I don't see them out here. Please, forgive us. We just need more time to produce what you ask for. We won't even be able to make it through the winter with what we have. <laughs> he needs more time. <laughs> they won't make it through the winter with what they have. <laughs> <laughs> If you just give us another week. There isn't any more time at your age, old man. <laughs> Grandfather! <laughs> this is unacceptable. We need to stop this, right? Yes. I see a Lewin too. What is he? He's sneaking out the back. He's signaling to us. He wants to take the bandits out, but wants us to stay put. Don't worry, Asilme. We'll step in if need be. No! Get off me! Let go! Pretty girl. She your granddaughter. Let me go! Please! <laughs> I think she'll suffice as payment for now. Get off me, you ugly thug! Ayla! Ayla! No! Please not, Ayla. I'll do anything you ask. Shut up, you old fool. Oh! Grandfather! Uh. Uh. Hey! This ends now. Hell yeah, it does. <coughs> Who the hell are you? Prince of Lewin, Eelfass. And this village is protected. God, the whole village is here. A seal may know. Oh God, a seal may get back behind me. Everyone, attack! Hey, bring some rope. Yes, my prince. Well done, 
I managed to knock the leader and his henchmen out. The rest have fled to the forest. We need to tie them up so they won't cause any more problems. I'll have my soldiers come and patrol the area to get the rest. Make sure to put them somewhere they can't escape. Of course, your highness. I have a place in mind for them. Excuse me a moment. I trust you have everything in order? I do, sire. Oh, for goodness sake, Asilme, what were you thinking? Come, let me help you up. Lewin, is everything okay? Yeah, just some bandits thought they could cause some problems, but we have that settled now. Yes, we saw. A seal may took it upon herself to rally the village troops. Damn fine woman you have there, Adrisen. Knows how to handle herself, it seems. I approve. The blacksmith got the villagers safe in his house. We can go check on them after we get the bandits restrained in a better place for now, but we need to hurry and get you two horses. Us two? Oh, wait a minute. It sounds like you're not coming with us. A few of the bandits got away, and I'm not sure how many will return to attack. I just can't stand idle to anyone doing this to my kingdom. Which is completely understandable, but our mission is to protect a seal may at all costs. We can't afford for you to stay behind. Your father needs you. Excuse me, your highness. We secured them in the storehouse. And, if you can pardon me for overhearing, but because of your bravery, me and the rest of the villagers have decided to follow your lead and stand up for ourselves. As you said yourself, you could send your soldiers to come and help us later. That's more than we could have ever hoped for. Fine. But you have me alerted if they return before my soldiers get here. Of course, my sire. And Princess Asil may don't worry about the Elder. He's just fine. He's with his granddaughter. He's passed on the title of Village Elder onto my shoulders now. So, rest assured, everyone will be safe. Thank you. If I may ask to borrow three of your fastest horses for travel... Right away. It's an honor to help you, my prince, after what you've done for us today. Uh, I don't think that will be necessary, Lewin. <sighs> of course, the bandit's horses. Forget the request, blacksmith. We have all we need here. Well, if you're sure they're fast enough... They look mighty fine horses to me. Now, just to hope we can get to my castle in time. If we cut through the woods southeast of here, we can gain a few hours. If I may suggest, there is an old portal we use not far south from here that leads to the other border of your kingdoms, your highness. If you're traveling to either castle, that would be the fastest way. Excellent suggestion. We'll use that in order to get back. Thank you, blacksmith. Of course, sire. Let me help you up a seal, May. Just keep to the path into the village until you reach the second market stone. There is a trail to the right of the path that will lead you to the portal. We should be able to reach the castle in time. Thank you. And let's be quick about it. May the guardians watch over you, your highnesses. And same to you, blacksmith. Elder. Thank you. Come on, we need to go. Let's hope this portal is still open.